The debate about dangers posed by Staffordshire and Bull Terriers is ongoing on the island of Britain. England and Wales have aimed for a ban and as a result many people bring their dogs to Scotland and abandon them there. And now the government there is under pressure to act as well. So after the ban in England and Wales for dogs that are summarized under the term American XL bully, Scotland also wants to impose a corresponding regulation. Scottish First Minister Hamza Youssef said um, that in the regional parliament in Edinburgh. The background is that an increasing number of breeding dogs have been brought to Scotland in recent weeks, said uh, the politician from the SNP, and some of the animals are said to have been abandoned there. Fatal incidents in Great Britain involving bites by those so-called American XL bullies have recently increased. In mid-September, the government announced that it would take steps to ban the animals, which are known for their strength and aggressiveness. At the turn of the year, a muzzle and leash requirement was introduced. Breeding and passing on the animal is now illegal. From February onwards, the dogs may only be kept with an exceptional permit, otherwise the owners will face penalties and the dogs will be euthanized. As the BBC reported, the so-called American XL bully is said to have been created in the USA at the end of the 1980s from a cross between the American Pitbull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier. The goal was an even more muscular dog. According to the group Bully Watch, the hybrids first appeared in the UK around 2014 or 2015. The number of animals increased rapidly during the pandemic. And Yusuf said the decision would essentially replicate legislation in England and Wales. Since the beginning of the year, the country has experienced an influx of dogs mainly north of the border. And according to reporting by BBC Scotland News, the ban is likely to come into force at the end of January. After a series of brutal and sometimes fatal biting attacks, American XL bullies will now be banned in England and Wales. And from December 31st, dogs must be muzzled. The British government announced that breeding and sale would then also be prohibited. The dogs must be registered by the end of January and neutered by the end of 2024. And according to the government, owners who prefer to have their four-legged friends euthanized can apply for compensation. The death of a man who was attacked by two XL bullies caused shock across the country in September. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak then announced that keeping dogs like this would be banned. And according to the Bully Watch website, American XL bullies, other bully types or mixed breeds are now responsible for the majority of dog attacks in the UK. The group lists 11 deaths and three additional suspected deaths since 2021. Many owners of XL bullies defend their character. According to them, the animal just need good training. Critics, however, point out that the dogs were specifically bred to be highly aggressive. And even responsible owners cannot always stop them from attacking. In recent weeks, there have been demonstrations in London with hundreds of participants who opposed the planned ban, though. They held up signs that said things like, don't bully my bully. Four dog breeds are currently banned as dangerous in the UK. That's the Pitbull Terrier, the Toza, the Dogo Argentino, and the Fila Bragiero. They may be kept with special permits, which owners receive against strict conditions and must apply for in court. The animal rights organization PETA even welcomed the government's decision. However, other animal rights activists warned that the ban could result in many dogs being abandoned. According to reporting by the British internet newspaper Independent, hundreds of animals of the breed were offered for sale online within a few hours of its announcement. On January 4th, the Scottish government warned owners of American XL bullies not to house the dogs in Scotland. Apparently, some English and Welsh owners still try to evade the regulations in their own country or abandon the dogs there. The Scottish government criticized its counterparts in England and Wales. 
The measures taken were not sufficiently informed in advance and kept up to date. The unintended consequences of this policy is that there is now an influx of American XL bully dogs into Scotland. A Scottish Government Community Safety Secretary, uh, Shoban Brown, told members of the Scottish Parliament. And according to BBC News Scotland, uh, earlier this year, a man claimed he saw 30 dogs crossing the border to find new homes. And Brown said he was reviewing the matter urgently. Just a few days later, the ban on XL bullies in Scotland was confirmed on January 10th. It is not known whether Northern Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom, also plans to ban American bullies uh, in its territory. The regulations from England, Wales and the initiative from Scotland do not apply there, of course. And if you want to know more about Brexit or UK politics, the next video is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.